Hi there guys and welcome to another Red Gaming Tech Gaming News video. As usual, my name is Marta and today is the 26th of March. I have some rather sad news a little bit as Square Enix President Yoichi Wada is going to resign and they actually forecast an extraordinary loss for the current financial year. The Japanese publisher plans for representative director Yoisuke Matsuda to succeed Wada as president in June as it reorganizes its management team amid wider reforms to its business operations. And I've got a direct quote from them here saying, In view of the rapidly changing environment of the game business, the company has decided to implement major reforms in restructuring its development policy, organizational structure, some business models and others. The company expects that the representative directors will change. Such change is subject to resolution by its 33rd annual general meeting of shareholders to be held in late June 2013 and a resolution by its board of directors meeting to be held after the said meeting of shareholders. Square Enix has also significantly downwardly revised its earnings forecast for the current business year, which of course ends on March 31st of this year, blaming slow sales of major console game titles in North American and European markets, as well as sluggish performance of its arcade machine business and an extraordinary loss of approximately 10 billion yen, which is 70 million pounds or 106 million dollars, which is quite a bit of money even for a monster of a company such as Square Enix. For the fiscal year, the company now expects to report a net loss of 13 billion yen, which is 91 million pounds or 138 million dollars, which is down from 3.5 billion yen, which is 24 million pounds, 37 million dollars, profit previously forecast, and the 6 billion yen, 42 million pounds, 64 million dollars profit it made in the previous business year. It also downwardly revised its annual review forecast from 150 billion yen to 145 billion yen, which is 1 billion pounds or 1.5 billion dollars. So basically, they're not doing quite as well as they hoped, is what it comes down to. They expected to make a certain amount of money, and they haven't. They've pretty much been making losses. As I said, a loss of 10 billion yen or 106 million dollars is pretty crazy and a net loss of 13 billion yen, which is of course 138 million dollars, as I said, that's not good for any company, even one as huge as Square Enix. This is a real shame, as I'm sure many of you will agree, while Square Enix has had put out a couple of slightly dodgy games in recent years, namely being Final Fantasy XIV and some would argue Final Fantasy XIII, but I have always been one of the few that said that game wasn't as bad as everyone made it out to be. So it's a real shame that such a company that's been put out a ton of good games despite its slightly dodgy last few years, I mean it gave us basically the whole of the Final Fantasy series which was pretty good up until arguably Final Fantasy X and from there is kind of when it started to go downhill with Final Fantasy X 2. 12 and 13, although I did think 13 2 was better than 13 in some ways, although it did have some problems. It's still given us many good games, like such as the Kingdom Hearts series, of course, and Final Fantasy, as many as well as many others, excuse me. So it's a shame to see them in so much trouble. So I only hope that the game that they have got coming up, the recently touted Final Fantasy game that's good looking pretty shiny in terms of graphics. I only hope that that can help bring them out of this because it would be a real shame to see them basically pull everything but their most well-paying franchises. We don't want to see that happen to such a well-loved company who's given us many classics over the years. So it's a real shame that the president has had to leave because of all this, so, but let's hope that all these restructuring plans and so on actually gives a positive turn for the company. Anyway, that's me done for this video. As always, please do hit me up with any thoughts and opinions on this current news. Be curious to see what you guys think of this, as always. Uh, always good to hear from you guys and get a little bit of a communication going. I mean, you know what I think, but what do you think? Anyway, that's me done. As I said, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.